Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here, welcome back to Gin Sense. Fragrance haul time. Finally got my hands on the new Paco Rabanne One Million Golden Oud. I shouldn't treat you like that, I'm sorry. Yeah, the new Paco Rabanne One Million Golden Oud, exclusive edition. I like the exclusive edition fragrances, the releases, other than the fact that they're a pain in the butt to get, but finally got it. But like on late night TV infomercials, that's not all. Also got a Maison Alhambra, some Latafa, Fragrance World, and another Latafa. A lot to check out today. All of this I picked up from fragrancebuy.ca. I'll have these linked in the description below, so feel free to check them out down there. And there is also an anniversary sale going on on Fragrance Buy's website. That's from today at 5 p.m. the 27th through the 29th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. So if you're watching this in the future after uh, the 29th, then it doesn't exist anymore. But as of right now, it does. So as usual with the Fragrance Buy sale, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. There's going to be a ton of fragrances marked down heavily for the sale, especially the door crashers. So you're gonna to wanna to check those out on the website. Uh, there are a couple of codes associated with the sale. One is decade. 25 decade 25 and that's a BOGO. So buy one fragrance, get one 25% off. You can use it however many times you want. And then there's also another code free ship 199 gives you free shipping. And that's for any order over $149 US or $199 Canadian, hence the 199. So free shipping 199 or free ship 199. Now why did I say free shipping 199? The code is free ship 199, sorry. There are also loyalty bonus sprays for the orders as part of their loyalty program. So you get bonus sprays there. And then first 1000 orders get a free sample. There's like a little thing on the website where you have to add a free sample. Uh, so you can do that first 1000 orders. So there we go. Now let's crack into these fragrances, see what the deal is, what's good, what's bad. I'm gonna do the Pac Rabanne first. So the Latafa, the Alhambra, all that's gonna wait. So this is a uh, 1 million golden oud. Obviously a new one million flanker, but it is a Middle Eastern exclusive. So like I said, kind of a pain to get. And it's even more frustrating because, you know, the second that these come into stock, they sell out. So we're gonna take just a real quick look at the presentation because there's a lot to, to smell here today. Name of the fragrance, name of the house right there on the front. Parfum Intense is the concentration. Little info on the back, your badge code barcode on the bottom. Badge code is 31291. So here is the bottle, your typical 1 million style. And this one very similar to 1 million royal, only with an emerald, a green emerald instead of a red ruby. Let's spray it on here on the tester strip. I like it. Really nice uh, spiciness to it, warm spiciness. You know, it, it's sweet like pretty much every 1 million that's ever existed, but not as overly sweet as some of them can be. Quite a bit leathery actually, a little kind of sweet leather going on. It smells like Penhaligon's Halfetti mixed with uh, Philip Pline's No Limits. It's not as aggressively sweet spicy as the Pline, and the leather is more toned down and more wearable than the Pline. I think Iris was a note here, but off pepper, I'm not really getting it, so to skin we go. Just a one spray there. So the Philip Pline No Limits thing, that kind of falls by the wayside when you're smelling off skin. Comes through more off paper. You can still pick it up like a, a tinge, but not really, not close enough to say that they're like super similar or anything. So that's going to appeal much more to people that are into fragrances. That's not as much of an appealer, <laughs> an appealer to uh, your average casual person. That kind of sweet slick leather is still there, but the woodiness comes out a little bit more off of skin. Still a nice balance of like sweet and dark as pertains to the, uh, the spices in here. It is uh, definitely the type of fragrance that is like just for certain occasions, I think. It's not going to be as versatile as a lot of other fragrances out there. So in, in that aspect, it makes sense to make it an exclusive edition because it does have, at least for like the American market, some aspects that are going to make it a harder sell than your, your typical big name designer fragrance. But I dig it. I could draw comparisons to a few different fragrances. Black Intense Malaki from Chopard, Gucci Intense Oud, Oud Malaki, which is similar to Halfetti. So just, it's kind of in that wheelhouse. You know, all those fragrances, it's kind of similar to those. Not the same as any of them, absolutely not. But it's one of those deals where if you like those fragrances, then you'll probably like this one. If somebody buys that expecting your typical 1 million really sweet 
easily worn kind of a youthful compliment pulling type thing, then this is, is not gonna be welcome. But for me, I think this is really freaking good. Uh, next we have Latafa Pride Alkyam Silver. Apologies, I butchered that, I'm sure I did. There we go. Let's check out the presentation here. 100 mil Eau de Parfum. Got a little sticker on the back there. Top of the box lifts off like so. A little booklet flies out. Look at that, pictures. It's a picture book. Front of the, the bottle there has some little polished up stones there. All right, let's give her a spray, see how it is. There we go, atomizer's all right. It would appear that we have another entrant into the Bulgari Tiger clone market. I mean, it smells good. Like pretty much all of them, you know, all of the uh, Tiger clones, they have that, that opening that's just really pleasant. It's citrus, very clean, sweet, lightly green. Opens up a lot, has a good depth to it. 35 bucks, 35, 36 US, pretty nice. Quality's very, very good. The longer it stays, it just smells fantastic. Yeah, there you go. Another really nice, good quality Tiger clone. Let's go Fragrance World next. Absolute Oud Magnificent 7. Yeah, it's really obvious what this one is. Magnificent 7. This is a clone of uh, M7 Oud Absolute from Yves Saint Laurent, which I own that one, have enjoyed it for a long time. I actually have a, an original bottle of M7, not Oud Absolute, but the original M7 back there. And uh, yeah, this is one of those deals where Fragrance World is directly you know, copying, emulating, inspired by the fragrance that they are cloning. Presentation, the bottle. So Absolute Oud, Magnificent 7. Uh, I know exactly what this should smell like. Let's hope it's decent. Yeah, that's pretty close. Let's go ahead and grab the original M7 here real quick. Ooh. I mean, it's not as good as that, but <laughs> it's not fair. This does have a good similarity to M7 Oud Absolut. Off paper, it's a little more leaning on that kind of almost nutmeggy kind of spiciness instead of the Oud. I'm gonna do this real quick, just a little spray there. Yeah, it's nice. It's a much better alternative than like Swiss Arabian Moudamayez from years back. That was supposed to be an M7 alternative. It was awful. It was just not even close to M7. This at least, you know, gets you in that, in that ballpark. And it's pretty good. I enjoy it, but these two are better. Let's go with this big old weirdo next. Oh, that's a lot of packaging, man. Latafa, how do you pronounce that? Tok, Tok, T-H-O-U-Q. I apologize greatly for my lack of pronunciation skills there. You just, you have to. Cool. Everybody is always, you know, trying to set the packaging apart. I respect it. I respect the hustle. Sometimes it's more successful than others, you know. Uh, here we go, though. It comes with a little plastic thingy. <laughs> you turn it and take that off. And the holy hand grenade is inside. I mean, it looks good, though. It's like a stainless steel grenade. Bit of a fingerprint magnet, of course, but it looks good. Like, uh, quality's not bad there. You got like a little rose cap on top there. Give it a spray. That is really, really well done. It's a uh, Delina Exclusive from Parfums de Marley. That smells really good in terms of quality. You get hit with that Delina Exclusive open immediately. Like you, you, you just know what it is the second it touches your nose. And then it does this interesting kind of like, this like mingle, <laughs> this sort of change where you get hit with that, you know, that kind of freshness, the florals, and then this really wonderful kind of gourmandy sweetness starts mixing right away and you can just kind of feel it wafting back and forth and then it settles in. Let's do gold next. So we did uh, silver over here, all Kiam silver, now gold. Presentation it should be pretty much the same uh, other than the shade of the box. And there's my book, get out of here, get out. There you go. This one looks more like tiger, doesn't it? Give it a color, just saying. All right, let's get this guy going, see what it is, how it is. Two for two on Latafa so far. Nouveau Mon, which I have a clone of that by Maison Alhambra that I got in like really not that long ago. Which if you're unfamiliar with that fragrance is kind of a uh, similar to Ombre Nomad from Louis Vuitton. They're both from Louis Vuitton. But this is like in that style. I think for me more Nouveau Mon than Ombre Nomad because this one has more of that like leather saffron 
kind of at the top. When it first hits you, it's a little bit more spicy. Because that saffron leather, even right off the top, it comes through. Nouveau Mon, yeah. But again, that's similar to Ombre Nomad quite similar to the point that people compare those two to each other. If you're not really familiar with Nouveau Monde, then when you smell this, you're gonna think Ombre Nomad, and it is, uh, that wouldn't be wrong either, because again, they're all pretty close. I think overall, this one I like more, but this is well done. Yeah, really good alternative. And last but not least, jean Lo Ombre from Maison Alhambra. So uh, another Louis Vuitton alternative. We, we finished unintentionally with two, oh, hoo -hoo, two Louis Vuittons. Yeah, see, box inside the box, and then there it is. Yeah, real obvious what this one is. This is Ombre Nomad, this is what it should be, right? So, atomizers, yeah, okay. Starting to get a nose blind, boys. So this, you know, has a strong similarity to this. A little bit woodier, a little darker. It's a little heavier overall. Which one is better quality? I'm trying to reset my nose here. I don't know if it's gonna work. A pointless endeavor. Truly, at this point, my nose is starting to get overloaded. They smell similar enough that uh, I'll call it a draw. And maybe an hour from now, I'm gonna smell them and be like, it's drastically different. But right now, at this moment, uh. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Excellent alternative to Ombre Nomad. For a lot of people, that's probably gonna be the go-to or one of the go-tos for a Louis Vuitton alternative because uh, it's from Maison Alhambra, which is, of course, Latafa. The presentation quite similar to Louis Vuitton in terms of how it's done and the bottle. It does come with a magnetic cap. That's nice. And the quality is what you would expect from Latafa. It's very good. Really nice. Very well done. Dark, classy, you know, a little smoky. This one million is excellent as it dries down. I do think that'll be one of my 10 favorite of the year designers. It's gonna get a little hate because it's one million. It'll get a little hate because it's hard to find. It'll get a little hate because it's definitely not as wearable for your average person as other Pacos, but I enjoy fragrances of that style. All the ones I mentioned before, so I like that a lot. Tiger, if you want a Tiger alternative, it's another very good one. High quality, maybe higher quality than a number of the other ones out there. It is a little pricier than some of the cheaper ones like Theorem, for example, but uh, that's good. I waffle on this one. Right now when I'm smelling it, I don't think it's very good. But then other times I've smelled it, you know, going through this and it has smelled close enough. So that one I'm gonna have to wear. Yeah, I'm going back and forth. I'll get back to you on that one. Sometimes I'm smelling it and I'm thinking, ooh yeah, like Macho Man Randy Savage. And then other times I'm like, mm, oh no. Excellent. Delinea Exclusive. Really good. Nouveau Mon, really good Ombre Nomad. I think with this one, M7 Nude Absolute, if you want an alternative to that, it's absolutely worth checking out. It might be one of those ones that is a grower, you know? I think that's I think that's what's coming through here. There are times I smell this and it's like a big wallop of licorice. And then other times I don't get hit with as much and then it smells good. So I, it may be dependent on like how that comes across to you. Fragrances with that kind of quality. All right, that does it for me. Again, a sale is going on, which is uh, linked down below, as well as these. Thanks for hanging with me. Stay safe out there, guys. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.